Let's turn these back on real quick. This doesn't have any kind of power going to it, but these do. They duck seal the outside, but they did not do the inside. Which means I'm gonna to have to dig a little bit further into that. All right, today is a whole brand new day. Uh, it is Friday, January 17th here at Rewired. We are gonna be going over to Windsor Heights here in Iowa. We are gonna be doing a little bit of a panel restoration. And we are also gonna be installing some lights and a few other things. So we're gonna be heading on our way down there in just a little bit. Me and uh, my coworker Nate oh, yeah. here. Friday. We're all excited, Friday. Getting this done, it's gonna be an easy breezy day. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, everybody, we currently arrived here in Windsor Heights. Uh, me and Nate are going to be going down and uh, sorry on the panel restoration Going to be going through putting up some lights putting up an outlet a couple of dead end feeders uh, for future project All in all it's going to be a good day. We'll get set up here in a little bit All right, we are back a little time skip there teleportation whatever you like to call it I'm a nerd just let's face it anyways we we're gonna be swapping out these breakers because these are getting a little bit on the rusty side it looks like there might have been some a little bit of water initially somebody might have uh turned this uh meter looks like at some point somebody did an update on this already so they might have uh moved the panel outwards because that actually looks rather decent for what it is so they probably brought it out I never changed anything in the inside. So, we are going to be going through. We're going to be providing them absolutely brand new breakers. We're going to uh, restore what they had. And after that, we are going to be doing the lights. We're going to be doing a few more circuits from the panel over here all the way down. Now, the importance of panel uh, restoration is you got to realize that with everything that goes on with panel restoration, We'll guys uh, car maintenance. You're going in for oil change, change spark plugs, you know, calipers, brake pads. S same thing with the electrical system. You want to make sure everything is up to date and up to bar. You know, breakers usually last for quite a good while, but as they go and start eroding, it's usually when you go and start changing them out. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this set up and we'll get to work. So, let me turn the light on real quick. So what we got going on in here is we're going to be changing this switch out to a dimmer switch. We're going to be taking the conduit down from here all the way over to this light. And then we're taking that light out. So in response to that, we're going to be adding these cans because they're going to be finishing this basement at some point. And with those cans, it's going to look a heck of a lot brighter. Ceiling's going to be finished. Everything's going to be taken care of. So Nate's going to be working on that while I work on the panel. I, I put the uh, camera on Nate a few times already. I'll go ahead and put it on me for today. <laughs> <laughs> Nate doesn't want to be the star of the show anymore, guys. Yeah. That's okay. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. He's going to be working on that. We'll uh, swing on by for some updates here and there. And then... Uh, yeah, you'll watch me for the meantime, and when I get done, I'll hop on over, or vice versa. We'll see who gets done first. Alright, let me also show you guys what's going on over here. So as you can see, even with that right there, you can see a little bit of copper coming out of the connection. Now the whole fact of all of this is when you're landing a circuit, you want all your copper, copper conductors going into these lugs because you're just, it's creating issues later on. Especially with this over here. Again, wires are just frayed, not done correctly. So again, we're going to be going through, we're going to be fixing this up, sprucing it up, making it look good. So uh, that's what you're going to be watching here in a moment. Okay, again, we're just going through, we're changing all breakers and restore. Then also give you guys another highlight. This 
is an ITE indoor load center. Now this also, not only does it do the whole ITE breakers, which you see a little bit right there where it says ITE circuit breaker, but they also fit the Siemens brand. Now, I personally vouch for Siemens. I don't have problems with them. Uh, every once in a while, again, with all manufacturing, you might get one rogue uh, bad breaker every once in a while. But again, it's pretty good, no complaints. But these can fit those, so that's what we're using today. And this shows you how old the panel is, and that's why we are changing out the breakers for said breakers. Which I was told by one of my coworkers earlier that was doing a walkthrough that there's a couple of uh, brass circuits in here that are 15 amps. Now, what that means is that they ended up pulling one neutral and with two powers. So, like this guy right here that is taped up, that would be a good indicator that. These two circuits, our 15 amp, are together sharing the same neutral. And it looks like that is indeed the case. So instead of having it on one individual breaker, it's going to be on a two pole individual breaker. Meaning that if you shut off one circuit, it'll shut off both circuits. Just because if you were to turn this one off and leave this one on, that would send charge through this neutral and whoever's working on that individual circuit for this one they can get shocked so that's why we are doing it the safe way let's turn these back on real quick so obviously this doesn't have any kind of power going to it but these do so let's shut off one what does it do doesn't do anything at the moment but again when you go and put any kind of load on that it's going to back feed into it because it's sharing a neutral. By the way, it might be set up differently where it's going branching off somewhere else. Which means I'm going to have to dig a little bit further into that. So maybe my co-worker was wrong. So we're going to have to investigate. All right. It is indeed sharing a neutral. as the only pipe that's going through it. So it's coming up through here branching off here, splitting off different ways. Looks like it goes in, into the basement lights over there. So that's how I know. And so if you see, if I shut off the breaker that's associated with this one, so it is shared. So I guess we will uh, continue. After we get this outlet mounted, we are going to be going outside looking at that LB real quick. And then once we get the LB uh, figured out whether or not there's going to be any kind of duct seal filling, we will uh, seal that up and come back and help Nate out. So what we got going on, we've got a coil of wire right here and an outlet that's going to be right here. Outlet's going to be a temporary until they get the walls built. So that's why there's excess wire there. So that way we can bring it down in the future and that way we don't have to splice it up in the ceiling. Same thing right here. It's going to be a future outlet placement. This is one that we dead ended in the panel where it's not hooked up, but the breaker is there for future hookup. And this is just to help him out for whenever he gets the breaker down here. And Nate is doing an excellent job. He already got all the lights up and he is currently stringing across all the uh, loops so that way all these lights will turn on all at the same time and that switch over there is turning into a dimmer. We just gave him a temporary outlet in this room that he can use. So we will go ahead and turn that breaker on real quick. Pop. When I plug this in, it is on, it's now off and as you can see it is tripped. So we will shut that back off, turn it back on, and we are good to go. It's always good to go ahead and double check your breakers after you install them along with the outlet because if there's any kind of issue, you want to resolve it immediately before it becomes an issue later on. So I'm going to bring you guys outside with me real quick and we're going to see if there's an LB to duct seal. 
kind of a small pipe for this, but usually for uh, newer installations, anything that's 100 amps, we go inch and a quarter pipe, but looks like that's inch. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this up because they do indeed have an LB. And it looks like they duct sealed around the outside. But we might shore that up a little bit better. We'll go and open her up. Or disregard the gasket. And as you can see, they duct sealed the outside, but they did not do the inside. Now what that means is like if there's any kind of uh, opening or anything that comes into that meter, if it drips down, it's just going to keep on pulling, 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 and then eventually get down to here. And then that's where it will go and get the condensate right into there. Now obviously it doesn't look like there's any kind of water damage, but it's always good practice for any services to go ahead and duct seal that while you're here because on newer construction, newer services and everything else, it is actually code to seal anything from entrance of going into the building coming out. So we are going to seal this up. We got an LB that is duct sealed. I want to push around the wires, push behind it, all around in the opening. That is nice and sealed. So, we're going to go ahead and put the cover back on. And again, we are going to be taking care as to not damage the gasket. Yeah, because it, even with, especially with this, you know, with the furnace, you know, water, you see there's an ice chunk down here. Same thing with the gutters, you know, anything that would come down, hit the pipes, run along, you know, even with that, if it wasn't properly sealed, it all makes sense in the end. Now we're going to go ahead and go back inside and we are going to help Nate with the rest of the project. I'm going to go ahead and double check the work of scope for a day, but I believe we are getting close. So let's see. Scope of work today. Install six can lights with LED trims, dimmer switch, panel restoration, which we just got done. Run one circuit 10 feet and dead end, which is on that one side that we just have it all coiled up. Uh, run another circuit and add an outlet. So we are getting close to being done. And that is on a really good Friday setup. Let's go and get me a drink. And now I am not sponsoring uh, Code Red Mountain Dew today, but um, favorite drink of choice. We got the panel restored. It is done. I do need to go ahead and label it as well. So I'll be getting a pen and I'll be doing that real quick. And from the way it sounds, he had all these already stapled, which is excellent. Those are all taken care of. So now it's just a matter of getting them into the Canon fixtures, putting the lights up, getting that switch taken care of, and getting a connector right in there. And then afterwards, we're gonna be moving this box because since they are putting a uh, finished ceiling in here, that is considered illegal. So we will need to push it over to the other side where it is open. So with that in mind, let's get started on this. everybody moment of truth Nate gets that out there we're gonna turn this on there it is she's a beaut uh, do it. dimmer we'll switch that other light dims. perfect does it dim absolutely perfect so yeah um, part of the scope of work today was uh, 
Doing the one outlet over here, doing the dead end there. Panel swap, or the panel restore, I should say. The six can lights, one, two, three, four, five, six. All nice buttoned up, nice and tight along here. All in all, pretty good day. Not too bad. Pretty good day. So yeah, it's all six can lights with LED trims, check. Dimmer switch, check. Panel restoration, check. One one circuit, 10 feet and dead end, check. Run another circuit and add an outlet. And we even did one thing extra, which was moving that one box on over. We're good to go. Yep. So, Heck yeah. all in all, I still say that is a excellent, fantastic day to a Friday. And uh, over here at Team Rewired, Dominic and Nate, we are signing off for the rest of the day. We will see you next time. Have a good one, guys. See ya.